Hey there, good afternoon, how's it going? This is Silver Falls State Park, Oregon. Today is Sunday, April 7th, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, a chilly afternoon here. I'm going for a hike and in the process going to talk about a few different things. We'll see how this goes because it's kind of busy here, so uh, I'll just kind of walk and talk and uh, show what I can in the uh, process. So we have various waterfalls here. North Falls, two miles. South Falls, that's where I'm heading. Howdy, how you doing? <laughs> Lots of uh, really cool cabins and lodges and whatnot around here. I've been here before, but it was a very long time ago, back when I was living in Portland in like 2006, 2007, 2008, something like that. So uh, nice to be back. This is a lovely uh, area here. So this video has three different parts to it. Part one is a uh, update on where I've been the past couple of weeks or so and where I am planning to go next. So my last video was uh, filmed in Reno, Nevada. That was almost two weeks ago. At the end of the video then I said that uh, I might show some more around there. Things changed because uh, basically I got a call from my dentist. Ooh, wow. That is a spectacular one. I didn't realize I'd be getting such an amazing view of a waterfall so uh, quickly here. So which one is this? Man, it's phenomenal. So I got a call from my uh, dentist in Reno saying that there was a cancellation the next day and that I could come in and uh, get something taken care of that I really wanted to do before I took off traveling for the spring. I had this other appointment already set up for later, but it was going to be um, bad timing. So anyways, changed plans on the spot and left Reno, headed back to Ukiah and uh, got that dental appointment done. And then visited family there for a little while longer, including my brother and his nephew who came out from Reno. I hadn't visited them there because they were actually gone visiting other family, but uh, so uh, my brother came and visited my mom and uh, we hung out there for a couple of days and then drove north up into the redwoods of uh, Northern California because my brother wanted to show his son the redwoods there and I was planning to come up to Oregon anyways and so we coordinated to uh, do that. I would join them and then continue driving north from there which is what I did. So I got up here a couple days ago. Nice one. Man, that is amazing. I didn't remember this uh, from the last time that I was here. Welcome to the Trail of Ten Falls. No restrooms on the canyon trail. No pets, bicycles, kayaks, or rock climbing. So I'm probably not going to do the uh, full hike, we'll see, but uh, I want to get down there and do that walk behind the falls. And so I came back to Oregon for a few different reasons. Some of you might recall that I have a storage space here in uh, Portland and also that I 
normally park my vehicle at my friend Eric's house in Salem. Now, that is one of the uh, topics of discussion in this video, which I will get to in a few minutes. So, my uh, friend Eric is actually gone, him and his wife uh, Lori, for about a week. And so I've been here for a couple of days on my own, and they're coming back in a few days. So, I have this uh, storage space, and basically there was kind of a uh, situation with it in which I had to uh, go there and take care of something. And then also I have uh, friends and family in the area, and uh, am considering some exploring plans around here, but not quite sure. So, as far as where I'm going next internationally, then that is what I am in the process of trying to decide. Man oh man, look at that! That is an ultimate waterfall! Just gorgeous! So a few of the options are... The Azores. Islands in the Atlantic Ocean, part of Portugal. Madeira, another island also part of Portugal. Going back to the Canaries, which I've been to before. Stopping for a short uh, visit in Iceland. Maybe going to uh, Greenland. And then I'm seriously considering doing a little uh, Central European tour to the uh, Czech Republic and Slovakia, and maybe like Lithuania or something as well, but I have only been to the capital cities of those two countries, to Prague, Czech Republic, and Bratislava, Slovakia, and I would like to see more. I think that that would be uh, quite interesting. And then, seriously considering heading back to Greece, once again I have this uh, whole trip plan there, so very likely going back to Europe unless I just uh, changed my mind kind of uh, suddenly. I really want to get to New Zealand, of course, but uh, not sure that is going to happen now, so we'll see. Speaking of Iceland, this kind of reminds me of a waterfall that I went to in Iceland. Very similar uh, cavern behind the waterfall. Man, this is just absolutely incredible. Now, I'm not really waterproof in this jacket. I have a different waterproof jacket in the uh, backpack here, but... Alright, let's go for it. Whoa! Holy moly! And so those uh, travel plans could happen at any moment now, but uh, probably it will be a week or two before I uh, actually hop on a plane heading somewhere. Also, a stop at a Caribbean island is an option along the way, so we'll see. I still have uh, some things to straighten out before that, including, as I mentioned, my uh, situation with parking the car. So, I mentioned in that Reno video that it is no longer an option for me to park my car at my friend Eric's house because he is moving and in the process needs access to his garage and my car would be parked right in the way and so it would be a hassle for him 
for it to be there in the uh, course of the moving process. So that is no longer a possibility starting now. And I have to figure that out before I can go anywhere. So that is part of the point of this video is to put the word out there in case somebody watching might be able to help me out here, but it could be a mutually beneficial exchange. So there are uh, two possibilities for solving this situation. One is that uh, if somebody has a spot for me to park the car, then I could just park the car at somebody's house. The other one is perhaps somebody needs a car and would like to uh, use my car. It is an awesome car, 2000 Honda CRV in great condition. My uh, mom was the only other owner. It has about 150,000 miles on it. I just put uh, new tires on it. It has a fairly new radiator, just a year old. It just drives really uh, smooth and has been super reliable. So, the uh, possibility of parking my car at somebody's house or whatever, I would pay you $70 per month while I'm gone. The other option of if somebody were to actually use the car, then I would charge you $250 per month. Now, the restrictions of this situation is that, number one, then somebody would have to be in the uh, general area of the West Coast. So California, Oregon, Washington, maybe like Vancouver area, Canada. But uh, I don't want to drive the car, you know, back to the East Coast or whatever. And also, it's a matter of when I get back and want to pick the car up. And so ideally, then, it would be a matter of somebody who is in Portland or Eugene, Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles area could be an option, but uh, that is kind of a long ways away to get the car down there unless somebody wanted to you know fly up here and meet me and then take the car maybe somebody wants to do a road trip anyways or wants to come to Oregon or whatever but uh, basically if anybody is here somewhere on the west coast of the US then feel free to get in touch and let me know what might work for you and maybe we can work something out now the other restriction is that I don't know how long I'm going to be gone and so it would be a matter of basically as soon as I decide I want to come back then I would want to get the car and uh, you know get the car back and so it could be kind of a sudden thing I mean not you know the day before or whatever but a week or two before and flying back once I book a flight then I would let you know and then I would need to stop and get the car. I mean, obviously a little bit of flexibility there as far as, you know, a few days or whatever, but uh, basically I would want to uh, be able to grab the car at a moment's notice. So that would just kind of be part of the deal. So if anybody is possibly interested, then send me an email to gabrieltraveler at yahoo.com and uh, we'll see what we can work out. Now, getting to the third section of this video, then a friend of mine is in a really rough situation. Her name is Jackie, and we went on a road trip together in uh, Portugal. We've met a few different times, but uh, she hasn't really appeared in videos. There was a very short video clip of her in one of my videos in Portugal. That was a year and a half ago, I think. But uh, we've been planning to meet up again and do some more uh, exploring. But uh, she had an unfortunate accident last, like, November, I think, and banged her head and has a bad brain injury as a result. And she's just in a really rough situation going through, you know, health problems which are also impacting her 
finances because she's unable to do her work, which is uh, normally, she does these workshops online about like dancing and herbal medicine. And so she works remotely. She does a lot of traveling as well, but stays places longer term. She was in Costa Rica when this happened. And as a result, she hasn't been able to do her work. She just can't like tolerate computer screens very much. And it's just kind of messed up her whole health uh, situation. And also she needs various treatments. She came back to the US and she's trying to uh, go through the uh, various options that can possibly help to heal this. And a lot of these treatments are quite expensive. So she started a fundraiser. There's a link down below. And I just wanted to uh, encourage anybody who might want to help somebody out who really, really can use it right now to go ahead and uh, donate both to help cover her treatment costs, medical bills, and also just her regular daily living expenses because she hasn't had the income coming in, she's had to tap into her savings, she's still in a really bad uh, place health-wise and trying to get back on track and she doesn't have a, a home so she's having to pay for uh, housing somewhere kind of shuffling around a little bit uh, trying to find places to live while also trying to get her treatments done and so it's really a uh, very very difficult uh, situation for her. and so just wanted to uh, try to help her out a little bit. I donated a hundred bucks. If you click on the link below, then you'll see that more than $10,000 has been donated to her cause already, but that was over the course of the past like couple of months or so. And so that has actually already been, you know, delivered to her and basically spent. And so she's back to being super broke and uh, just has no idea how she's going to meet her basic needs as well as get out of this really rough situation. So if anyone wants to help somebody who could really, really use it, then check the uh, link down below. She will greatly appreciate it. And uh, perhaps you will see her in a uh, video of mine upcoming. She's hoping to get uh, back to better health in the coming months. And then we were uh, talking about maybe uh, meeting up uh, somewhere like in Europe if I head out there a little bit can go a long ways people donating 20 bucks here 50 bucks 100 bucks whatever can uh, add up and really help somebody out there I do not have anything to do with the money there it does not go through my hands whatsoever I am just posting a link and then that will get to her directly so she will absolutely seriously appreciate it and it is a very good cause for somebody who is really struggling right now. So there you go. That is uh, going to do it uh, for uh, this video. I'm going to hike around a bit more and then uh, get back to Salem. And I am going once again out to Brighton Bush Hot Springs tomorrow. I went there right after arriving in Oregon, coming back from Asia, end of January. So it's been two and a half months since I got back to the United States. And I talked about in uh, a video around that time that I was going to be uh, taking a break from the travels and everything. And so and so Brighton Bush Hot Springs is one of my all-time favorite places in the world. I spent two nights there when I uh, was here back in January and uh, going out tomorrow for another uh, night soak in the hot springs, experience the uh, peaceful forest there. And then my uh, friend Eric and his wife Lori get back 
on uh, Wednesday. And then after that, I'm going to be uh, seriously looking into flights and trying to figure out my plans. So more coming from somewhere. See ya.